Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this exponential equation 3 power x equal to 7 power y equals to 441. And now we are going to find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video tutorial, I will be sharing with you two different methods. And here's our very first method. Let's focus on this equation right up here. And here I have just copied it down. And now let's focus on this constant 441. So we know that 441 could be written as 21 square. So therefore our equation could be written as 3 power x equal to 7 power y equals to 21 square. And now we can write this equation as 3 power x equal to 21 square. And the other part I can write 7 power y equal to 21 square. And now let's go ahead and focus on this equation first. And now let's go ahead and take the power of y on both sides on this one and this one as well. So we can write this equation as 3 power x y equal to 21 power 2y by using this power rule. And now let's focus on this equation. Let's go ahead and take the power of x on both sides. So that is going to give us 7 power x time y equal to 21 power 2x by using the same power rule. And now let's go ahead and multiply these two equations. So we can write this on the left hand side 3 power x y times 7 power x y equal to 21 power 2y times 21 power 2x. So the left hand side of equation could be written as 3 times 7 and then power xy and likewise on the right hand side this could be written as 21 power 2x plus 2y by using these two rules of exponents. Now finally 3 times 7 is 21 so I can write 21 power xy equal to we're gonna leave everything same on the right hand side 21 power 2x plus 2y. Now since our bases on both sides are same, so that means we can equate our these exponents. So that means we can write this one as xy equal to 2x plus 2y. And here I have just copied down this one xy equals 2x plus 2y as we are running out of the space on the left hand side. And here in this next step I have factored out 2 from the right hand side. So xy equal to 2 times x plus y. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by x plus y and x plus y on this side as well. So these two cancel out so we simply got uh, x y divided by x plus y equals to 2 and now 2 could be written as 2 over 1 as we want to make it a fraction let's go ahead and flip over these both fractions i can write this thing x plus y over x y and on the right hand side this could be written as 1 over 2 and now I can split this fraction into two parts as you can see by using this rule. And now we can see this x and x is gone with this one and y and y is gone over here as well. So this could be written as 1 over y plus 1 over x equal to 1 over 2. 
And if we switch these one around, we can write one over x plus one over y equals to one over two. And that's what we were looking for, as you can see over here. So thus our one over x plus one over y value turns out to be a one over two, and that's our answer. And here's our second method, and we have got these two equations, as you know before. And now let's go ahead and focus on this equation fast. Now let's go ahead and take the log on both sides. Let me go ahead and take the log on this side and the log on this side as well. And now we are going to move these exponents to the front over here and right over here by using this power rule. So this equation is going to become x log of three equals to two log of 21. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 3 and log of 3 on this side as well. And here this log of 3, log of 3 is gone. So we got our x value equal to 2 log of 21 over log of Three. and now x could be written as x over one now in this next step let's go ahead and flip these fractions over so x over one becomes one over x on the right hand side this flip over as well so log of three divided by two log of 21 let's go ahead and focus on this other equation now let's take the log on both side exactly the same way we did in the previous equation now let's go ahead and apply this power rule so this could be written as y log of 7 equals to 2 log of 21 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 7 and log of 7 on this side as well this is gone so we ended up with y equals to 2 log of 21 divided by log of 7. Now y could be written as y over 1. And now let's go ahead and flip these two fractions over. So we are going to get on the left hand side 1 over y equal to on the right hand side log of 7 divided by 2 log of 21. Let me go ahead and call these equations this one on the left hand side equation number 1 and this as equation number two and now in this next step let's go ahead and add these equations one and two so on the left hand side we could write one over x plus one over y and the right hand side could be written as log of three divided by two log of 21 and then plus log of 7 divided by 2 log of 21. And now we can see that both of these one the same on these denominators. So I can write these one as a common denominator. And on the top, this is going to be a log of this 3 and then plus log of 7 on the numerator. And now on the top, as you can see, we are going to use this product rule. So the numerator could be written as log of 3 times 7 and then divided by 2 log of 21. So now on the top, on the numerator, 3 times 7 is 21. So that becomes log of 21 divided by 2 times log of 21. And here we can see this log of 21 and this log of 21 is gone. So thus our one over x plus one over y value turns out to simply one over two. So thus our one over x plus one over y value turns out to be one over two and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.